Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot laptop screens. Let's say that your laptop is, is on, but the screen is black, you're not getting anything. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things that you can check on that. Now the first thing that you can check is on most laptops, there's actually a little button that's somewhere up near the top of the bottom of the laptop, above the keyboard, between the keyboard area and the screen. Now what that button does is if I was to press that button, that little button is pushed down by the laptop screen as you shut it, basically, and that's what tells it to turn off the screen. So you could check by just tapping that button, maybe it's stuck or something like that, uh, just check that button and see if that's what's keeping your screen off. If it doesn't turn out to be that button, I would suggest too that you find an external monitor, uh, and on a lot of laptops, uh, they have a VGA connection. Uh, this one is on the side. It might, uh, on yours, it might actually be on the back, but there's a VGA connection that you can plug a regular old monitor into. And uh, if your monitor comes on, but your laptop screen stays off, chances are there's a hardware problem with your laptop screen. Now, uh, another thing that you can do is just turn the laptop all the way off. Hold in the power button until you know the laptop is, is turned off, all the lights go out. Turn it back on. See if you get a manufacturer's logo. Because if you get that manufacturer's logo, it means that the screen is actually working. If it goes black when Windows starts loading, you might have some actually some driver issues within Windows that you need to troubleshoot. If you don't get that manufacturer's logo, chances are your screen is somehow damaged and you just need to contact your manufacturer and see if you can send it in for repairs. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just told you how to troubleshoot a laptop screen.